Hello and a very warm welcome back to Jane Jure Art. I've been very busy painting a series of yachts, getting ready for the Monaco Boat Show. But in between my hard work in the studio, I also managed to fit in painting a portrait of my daughter to give to my dad for his 80th birthday this year. And I thought that I would share with you the process of creating this oil painting while at the same time having a little chat to you about the French lifestyle secrets I wish I'd known sooner. So sit back, relax and enjoy. I took this picture purely because of the lighting and it really inspired me. I thought I must try to convert this into a painting. So I printed out the picture in black and white because I didn't want to be too distracted. Um, by the colours to begin with. So I'll just share with you the whole process of creating this painting while I talk to you about what I've learned from the French and living in France. As you may know if you follow this channel, I've lived in France for over 20 years now and before I moved here I used to believe that a successful life revolved around maximising your productivity. It was all about cramming as much as possible into a single day, with the goal really of earning more money to acquire more things. Then I fell in love and the object of my desire happened to be a Frenchman and at the same time as being swept away in a whirlwind of romance, I also discovered a different approach to life. The French don't dedicate their lives solely to work and they don't seem to chase after money. It's not the main motivator, it's not what drives people to get out of bed. Living in France, I've learned that it's perfectly all right to do nothing without any particular reason other than the sheer pleasure that it brings. The French have a profound appreciation for pausing and simply observing the world around them. It's fascinating to witness how people in France can spend hours sitting in cafes watching life unfold. They don't feel the need to appear busy or constantly achieve anything. They're not always looking at their phones either. They look at the passing world. They're interested in the people that walk past them in the street. And they understand the value of taking a step back and appreciating the beauty and simply observing. The French seem to possess a quiet confidence an understated sort of elegance. And that's what makes them irresistible to me. Even in a bustling room full of conversations, there's an underlying sense of serenity. They don't seek to draw attention to themselves and they don't feel like they need to justify who they are or what they're doing. Their voices are often soft-spoken, devoid of competition or showmanship. They find contentment in living with less and seem to genuinely appreciate what they already have. I really admire my French girlfriends for their ability to establish very strong and clear boundaries. They're quick to voice their discontent and protest when their boundaries are crossed or disrespected. They also draw a distinct line between work and leisure, really valuing their time off as something of great importance, which it is. You don't gain any points for being a martyr in France. If you're unhappy about something, then you speak up about it. You tell the truth and you confront the problem and get it sorted. Instead of worrying too much about hurting somebody's feelings and being polite and then just letting the problem fester and get worse. This applies within relationships, within friendships and certainly in terms of parenting as well, which I've found immensely useful. 
I've said it before in my previous videos, but it's worth saying again. Most of the French people that I've met gracefully accept the fact of aging. In a time where everyone seems obsessed with preserving youth and conforming to societal standards, the French have really inspired me to perceive things differently. Botox isn't highly thought of here, and embracing one's natural appearance is preferred over attempting to appear younger. There's elegance and sophistication in accepting and embracing the signs of a life well lived. Wrinkles represent personal growth and experience. The French take care of themselves and they make the best of what nature has given them. But appearing younger than you are isn't a priority for the French and I love that about them. Witnessing the gracefulness of French women has motivated me to incorporate more subtlety, privacy and a sense of mystery into my own life. French women don't feel the need to explain themselves. They call it their jardin secret, their secret garden. And it's the answer to many overly curious questions. C'est mon jardin secret, and they leave it at that. They're famous for remaining slim and focusing more on consuming healthy, unprocessed foods rather than emphasizing rigorous exercise. For them, exercise isn't solely about burning calories or engaging in intense workouts. It's about moving their bodies in harmony with their souls. I try to do only exercises that I find enjoyable. I go to a weekly dance class and I walk the dog by the sea and I do some gentle stretches in the morning. The French take pleasure in slowing down, cherishing solitary moments and finding joy in the simple and more quiet aspects of everyday life. Not everything needs to be significant or monumental to be appreciated. Sometimes a cup of coffee and a warm baguette are sufficient. What if, instead of constantly planning for the future, we dedicated our attention more to living in the present moment? One of my greatest daily pleasures is taking the time to make my coffee in the morning. We recently bought quite a complicated coffee making machine and I just love the ritual of it and the fact that it takes a while to do is one of the best things about it. Living in France has taught me to savour and enjoy what I already have and not spend my time always wanting more. I try to look around me and notice all that I have to be grateful for. Can you afford to slow down and sip your tea or coffee just in the now, enjoying the gift of the present moment? I'll be taking my own advice now and I'm going to go and snuggle in front of a film with my husband. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this enjoyable. Do go ahead and let me know in the comments what you thought and if you agree with what I've said about the French or if there's any other aspects of life in France that perhaps I forgot to mention. Take care, stay creative, and until next time, bye for now.